Quintus Caius Aelius Metellus Pius was a pro sullen politician and general who was Roman consul in 80 BC. He was the principal senatorial commander during the Satorian War, fighting alongside Pompeius Magnus. He was given the ignomen Pius because of his constant and unbending attempts to have his father officially recalled from exile. Early career Metellus Pius, a member of the distinguished plebeian gens Caius Elia, was the son of Quintus Caius Elius Metellus Numidicus, who was consul in 109 BC. His career began in that same year, when he accompanied his father to Numidia as his contubernalis during the Jugurthina War. Returning to Rome in 107 BC, when his father was forcibly recalled by the actions of Gaius Marius. In 100 BC, after his father was banished as a result of the political maneuverings of Gaius Marius and Lucius Apuleius Saturninus, Metellus Pius launched a campaign to have his father brought back from exile. He produced a petition in 99 BC to this effect, and his constant pleading on the subject resulted in Quintus Calidius, the plebeian tribune of 98 BC passing a law which allowed his father to return. As a result of his fidelity, he was given the ignomen Pius for the constancy and inflexibility with which he fought for his father's political rehabilitation and return to Rome. Sometime during 90s BC, Metellus Pius was elected to the College of Pontiffs as a result of his family's eminence and influence. The outbreak of the social war saw him employed as a legate in late 89 BC, probably of the consul Pompeius Strabo, where he won some battles against the Marsi. As a result of these victories, he was elected praetor in the following year. During his praetorship, he was tasked with enrolling the Italian allies as new Roman citizens within 60 days, in accordance with the Lex Plautia Paperia. Once this was completed, Metellus Pius was again posted to the social war, replacing Gaius Cosconius on the southern front. He harassed the territory around Apulia, captured the town of Venusia, and defeated the leading Italian leader, Quintus Popidius Silo, who died in the storming of Venusia. In 87 BC, Metellus Pius' command was extended, with his appointment as pro praetor, responsible for continuing the war against Samnium. Later that year, however, saw a dispute between the two consuls Lucius Cornelius Cinna and Nius Octavius. Octavius flare up into war. Cinna, expelled from Rome, met up with the exiled Gaius Marius, and both laid siege to Rome. During the early phase of this conflict, the Senate, fearing that they may need additional troops and commanders, ordered Metellus Pius to negotiate a peace with the Samnites. Marching to Rome, he made camp at the Alban Hills, accompanied by Publius Licinius Crassus. Here he met up with Nius Octavius, who had abandoned Rome, but both men soon fell out with each other, over Metellus Pius' troops demanding that their commander take over overall command from Nius Octavius. The Senate then asked him to negotiate with Cinna on their behalf, during which time he recognized Cinna as the legitimate consul. However, with Cinna's occupation of Rome and the executions initiated by Gaius Marius, Metellus Pius decided to abandon Rome and ahead to North Africa, supporter of Sulla. Arriving in Africa by early 86 BC, Metellus Pius started raising an army from his private clients, with the intent of joining Lucius Cornelius Sulla, who had been the principal opponent of Cinna and Marius. He was joined by Marcus Licinius Crassus, but both men fell out, and Crassus was forced to leave and eventually join up with Sulla in Greece. He acted as proconsul, the governor of the province, but this was unrecognized by Cinna in his regime at Rome. Nevertheless, it wasn't until 84 BC that the Marians at Rome were able to send out their own governor, Gaius Fabius Hadrianus. Upon his arrival, he drove out Metellus Pius who fled to Numidia, pursued here. He and the Numidian king Hyomsal II were forced to flee onwards to Mauritania. From here, Metellus Pius made his way to Liguria by late 84 BC or early 83 BC. 
By 83 BC, Sulla had returned from the east and was marching slowly to Rome for his confrontation with the Marian regime. Moving quickly, Metellus Pius was the first to meet him along the Via Appia, bringing new troops with him. He, like many of the aristocracy, only joined Sulla when it was prudent to do so, and not because they approved of his measures such as his first march on Rome. Regardless, recognizing Metellus as possessing proconsular imperium, Sulla made him his principal subordinate. By July 83 BC, the Senate, under the direction of the consul Nius Papirius Carbo, declared Metellus Pius a public enemy. In 82 BC, he was sent by Sulla to secure the northern parts of Italy, and accompanied by the young Nius Pompeius. Metellus Pius attacked and defeated Gaius Carinus at Picinum. He then achieved a victory over Papirius Carbo and Gaius Norbanus at Farventure, pacifying size Alpine Gaul for Sulla. With Sulla's victory in 82 BC, he began rewarding his supporters, and made Metellus Pius the Pontifex Maximus in 81 BC, following the murder of Quintus Mucius Scavola Pontifex. He was also a monetalist from 82 BC to 80 BC. During this entire period, he was shown to be one of Sulla's best subordinates. A traditionalist supporter of the Senate's prerogatives, he had no other objective apart from fighting the populism of Marius and Cinna, and did not participate in the atrocious violence that marked the arrival of the dictatorship of Sulla. Finally in 80 BC, he was appointed consul alongside Sulla. Metellus Pius used his position to reward Quintus Calidius, who had helped bring his father back by supporting his bid for the praetorship. Setorian War Sometime during his consulship, Quintus Setorius, an opponent of Sulla, established himself in Spain and began a rebellion against the Senate. After defeating the governor of Hispania Ulterior, the Senate decided to send Metellus Pius once his term as consul had ended. Upgrading Hispania Ulterior to a consular province, they dispatched Metellus Pius to take charge of the war against Setorius. Facing Setorius and Marcus Papenavento, Metellus Pius established his bases at Metellinum Castra Caius Elia, Vicus Caius at the Sierra de Grados, and at Caesaliana, near Setubal. From the start, it was clear that Metellus Pius was no match for Sertorius, suffering repeated defeats through Sertorius' use of guerrilla tactics. His legate Thorius, dispatched to come to the assistance of the governor of Hispania Citeria, Marcus Domitus Calvinus, was defeated by Sertorius. After his unsuccessful push towards the Targus in 79 BC, and suffering a defeat by Sertorius at Lacobriga in 78 BC, Pius was forced to ask for help from the governor of Gallia Transalpina, but he was defeated by Sertorius a legate and unable to help. The end result was that an exhausted Pius was pushed out of his province of Hispania Ulteria. When the consuls of 78 BC declined the opportunity to join Metellus Pius as proconsul in Spain once their terms ended, the Senate in late 77 BC, hearing of Pius' ongoing reverses at the hands of Sertorius decided to send Nius Pompeius Magnus together with another army to give Pius what assistance he could, while Pius' a governorship was prorogued. Both men worked well together, but were hard-pressed to win any encounter with Setorius. With Pompey's arrival in 76 BC, Setorius turned his attention to him, freeing Metellus Pius to campaign against Setorius' as subordinates. Almost immediately this paid dividends, in 76 BC he defeated Hertulius, Sertorius a quaestor, at Italica. This was followed by another victory over Hertulius at Segovia in 75 BC, where Hertulius died. Metellius Pius then came to the aid of Pompey after his defeat at Sucro, before both men finally won a battle against Sertorius at Saguntum. Pius was acclaimed imperator by his men. Spending the winter in Gaul, Metellus Pius returned to Spain in 74 BC. 
He captured the towns of Bilbalus and Sagobriga before joining Pompey at the siege of Caligurus. They were forced to raise the siege when Sertorius approached, after which Pius returned to Gaul. He imposed new taxes in Hispania Ulterior after the end of Sertorius' rebellion. Pius' governorship ended in 71 BC with the end of the war. He disbanded his army after crossing the Alps, and celebrated a triumph together with Pompey on December 30, 71 BC. Regardless of the triumph, during those eight years of resistance he was unable to conclusively defeat Sertorius and it was only after Sertorius' assassination by his own men that the rebels were forced to cede to the military ability of Metellus Pius. Later career, regardless of his working relationship with Pompey in Spain, Metellus Pius' politics meant that he was opposed to Pompey's continued a regular extra-magisterial career throughout the 60s BC. Though Pompey was largely untouchable, senatorial resentment could be visited upon his clients and former subordinates. When the former plebeian tribune and associate of Pompey, Gaius Cornelius, was accused of maiestas, the prosecution called on as witnesses a number of key anti-Pompeian former consuls, including Metellus Pius. Metellus Pius was a friend and patron of the noted poet Aulus Licinius Archias. Pius died around 63 BC, the year that Julius Caesar replaced him as Pontifex Maximus. Family relations. He married Licinia Crassus Secunda or Minor, daughter of Lucius Licinius Crassus Orator, and wife Musia Secunda, from whom he had no children. For this reason he adopted his nephew by marriage and son of his second cousin Publius Cornelius Scipio, renamed Quintus Caius Aulius Metellus Pius Scipio Nasica. He was the son of Quintus Caius Aulius Metellus Pius's wife's sister Licinia Crassa Prima or Major and Publius Cornelius Scipio Nasica Serapio, who was in turn the son of Publius Cornelius Scipio Nasica Serapio and Caius Elia Metella, daughter of Quintus Caius Aulius Metellus Macedonicus. In fiction, Metellus Pius is a prominent character in the novels The First Man in Rome, The Grass Crown and Fortune's Favorites by Colleen McCulloch. In the novels he is characterized as having a starter, and is referred to by contemporaries, including Sula, as the piglet. He is also mentioned in John Maddox Roberts' SPQR series as the fictional main character Dicius Caius Elias Metellus' uncle.